Okay, so now what I want to do. I want to do a little depth of field with Arnold. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, first off, let's do a little camera hookup trick. If I go in here to create measure tools and I hit the distance tool, and here I'm just going to hold down V, dook, and it creates these little locators for me. Um, and you can see this little tiny locator right here. I'm just going to increase its local scale so you can see it big. And there's another one right over here. And I'll do the same thing. Whoop, make it big. And it's telling me the distance between the two. Okay. Now, what I've got is I've got a camera. I've just got the default perspective camera. I'm just going to go and hit select camera. And what I'm trying to do is in the Arnold section of the camera, I close everything down. I go into Arnold. There's this focus distance. Okay, and um, let's see if I got my camera selected. It's like this thing, and I grab this uh, this thing right here, and let's just go in and just for the hell of it, uh, go into rigging, and I'll go over to constrain. And I'll hit a point constraint, Book. and so now that locator is point constrained to my camera. Okay, that's cool, and I can see right here. Can I actually select that from here? There it is. It's selected. There's my distance dimension, and it's telling me the distance from the camera to this locator over here. Um, and if I were to do something like uh, go into Windows and I go to General Editors and I pull out my Connection Editor and what do I have selected? Distance Dimension 1. So that's this thing over here. I want to go to this one and if I have the Attribute Editor open I can just hit Select and that'll select the Shape node and I can hit Reload. And if I'm looking around down in here is it at the bottom? Right there. There's my distance sitting at the bottom. Um, and then if I go over to my camera, I'm going to go to view, select camera. And when I select camera, if I hit load here, it says perspective. That's this node right here, not the shape. And on the shape, if I look, that's where the Arnold section is. So I got to grab the shape and I'm going to hit select. So it selects that one there. Reload it. Now it says perspective shape. Okay. And I start hunting around, I don't see anything, and then I come down here and I see something that says AI. Okay, so that's my Arnold. And if I go down here and I keep looking, I look, and where is it? There's the focus distance right there. So I just hook the two up. So, that's cool. Okay, so no matter where I move this, it's going to feed the distance in directly into the camera. And let's just go into Arnold and see what this is looking like. So I'm going to hit render. And right now when I do this, everything's going to freaking slow down. I just finished making another video tutorial, so it's kind of carrying over a little bit. I'm just going to hit one-to-one. -one. Which I guess we're already on the one-to-one. -one. Make this bigger. Um, maybe my settings for uh, getting a nice smooth render up a little bit high. <laughs> I'm going to move my way over here. Eh. And I am going to, I'm going to disable this because I know it's slowing me down. And I'm going to go up a little bit. And I should probably almost pause. Let's put this at 3 so it's at its default. Actually, everything's kicking in. Okay, good. Um, and so the next thing is, I'm just going to close this down. If I have my camera selected, urgh, Everything feels heavy when I'm trying to move this and it's slow and it's dragging. Come on. Actually, what is it? Is the button just below? This is the one that selects the camera. I'm still not used to all these buttons and they all look the same. But there's the camera. Um, so you can see my focus distance here. That's all set in. But we don't actually see anything really happening in here, right? There's nothing happening. That's because I haven't changed the aperture size. If as soon as I start to change this, let's just drag it right up to one, we can start to see that some areas start to come out of focus. And hard to see. I can't really tell. Okay. What if I go in and I take the aperture size? And let's do something like uh, if I hold down control right here, I can control drag and I can go and take the slider so it goes beyond one. Now it's sitting up somewhere like there. And what around three? Not good enough. I think my scene is quite big, so there. Oh, what a liar I am. So what it's going to do is it's going to create this... Ri oh, it's because I did haven't enabled the freaking depth of field, you fool! Okay, and 
So now, as soon as I enable that, we're going to see around 9. I was thinking I should see something. I thought it was crazy for a second. There we go. The depth of field. And so now we're seeing this fine tune around the area where the locator is. And then we're seeing this everything else is out of focus around here. And you can totally animate all this stuff, too. Um, let's pull this back to, uh, like I said, whenever I'm rendering this thing, my whole request computer just slows right down if I'm rendering and recording at the same time it does not like this let's put this to say five okay I'm just gonna take the locator come on baby <laughs> select it okay got it and if I hold down V I'm just gonna move it right over here if I hold down V and I middle click it'll snap right to this point right here and we should see that right there on the renderer. It's going to freak out in a second. Okay, we're just waiting. The snapping is occurring. It's going to move in a moment. And then the render is just going to freak out. And suddenly that's in focus and everything else is out of focus. Okay, so I've kind of almost created a camera rig with this as well. So <clears throat> there you have it. Arnold and depth of field. Um, actually, I'll pause for a second while it's rendering, or I could probably dial up the samples and everything like we saw in the previous video, so I could speed this up and get a uh, or get a. It's going to slow me down to get a finer, less noisy render, but that should be good enough right there. Okay, done, and stop.